What's up YouTube, Silver Dragons here. I'm really excited to be talking about silver. What's the best silver to be buying? Today I'm joined by Sean Reynolds, the customer service manager over at Bullion Max. Welcome back, Sean. Good to be here again. Awesome. Hey, last time we talked about gold, we had a great conversation. And uh, I'm curious your thoughts on silver. Let's start with if someone wanted to invest in silver today, what are some of the products you would sort of lead them towards? What I like to do with someone who, who's new to it is, is first of all, introduce them to the concept of the premium if they don't know what that is. And so one of the things I will start with is, is uh, silver rounds because they typically have the lowest premium, not always, but this is kind of part of that journey where you always want to shop. But start here with the assumption it will be the least expensive uh, thing that we have that doesn't involve purchasing, you know, hundreds of ounces or something like that. So start there and then show them bars and the fact that, a, a, you know, a round is just a round bar and then show them how, how those come. Here's how you may want to store them, things of that nature, and then go over and talk about coins and what's the difference between a, a coin and a, and a round and then also let them know that coins typically cost more, but also as a business, we typically pay more for them when you sell them back to us. So now what you want to look at is, okay, so what is the difference in premium? And do you think there's a, a value there to buy the coin instead of the round given the difference in price? Now, last year, we had so many situations where we had coins that were less expensive than rounds, which was fun because, of course, when we had that cooking, we had the lowest price on, on a lot of stuff. We uh, we did that with the silver maples and uh, and Krugerrand and uh, kangaroos and philharmonics at any given time. We had the lowest price out there. So I had a lot of those new guys buying coins because they were less expensive than the rounds. And then later, if they're going to sell those back to us, we will probably pay them more uh, for those than we would have had they purchased rounds. But that's kind of what I what I go through uh, with them. And then as we get things that go in and out of stock and we get good buys on things and we get, you know, hey, you're just you're you're at the point where your contract's up. Now you're paying the new rates, which are higher. Uh, you always got to shop and take a look at what's you know what's available versus what it costs but it always starts with silver rounds i think yeah that's a great place to start it seems like uh kind of the uh, stacking essentials are the silver rounds the silver bars and the silver coins mm -hmm. and uh, and you guys carry all of those and you did bring up um uh, silver bars and one thing i wanted to point out is if someone wants to get like a really low premium um, the hundred ounce silver bars are great, but you have to buy a lot of silver at once. And when mm -hmm. you sell it, you have to sell a lot at once as well. So it's kind of like a uh, catch 22. A little bit, because even if you're going to sell back to bullion max, you're going to be res responsible for the postage and the insurance. The insurance is probably going to cost you more than the postage, but you have a hundred ounces that you need to pack up and ship safely. So yeah, there, there's a potential downside. And then locally, it's not that you can't sell a hundred ounce bar. It's just, you're not as likely to have someone who wants to buy that as say, for example, a 10 ounce bar or, or a tube of rounds or something like that. So your, your potential customer uh, is, uh, you know, you, you've shortened your, your market a little bit. Because uh, not everybody wants a hundred ounce bar, but a great way. You're absolutely right. A great way to save money on premium, buying a big old chunk of silver. Yeah. And I would say for people starting out, you know, one ounce is definitely the best size. Most of my silver stack is all one ounce items, whether it be rounds, bars, or coins. And so I like that you guys carry a lot of different options when it comes to one ounce. Can you walk me through... Uh, some of the coins that you guys sell and maybe which ones would be better than others. Um, maybe you could talk about silver eagles sure. and the, the high premiums there. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, it seems we're always talking about the eagles and the high premiums, but let, let's talk about the other end of the spectrum first. My favorite coin is the kangaroo. And the reason I like the kangaroo is it's priced more like a round than some of the more expensive bullion coins that are out there. 
Now, what I particularly like about it is I love the Perth Mint. I think everything they make is fantastic. The design, the quality, the fact that it's four nines instead of three nines pure. And then other coins kind of in that same uh, kind of price area. Um, there are the the uh, Philharmonics from Austria. Uh, for some reason, people like those or they don't like those. They do feel a little different uh, in terms of the silver. If you put it side by side with uh, some other silver bullion coins, I don't know why that is, but I, I think that may be why some people are not huge fans. Well, it could be the smooth edge too. I mean, it, the, true, true, it, because th that's not common, and I, I'm glad you mentioned that. Um, the, yeah, the smooth edge, and there's and there's no ridge either. It 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 really just the edge is the edge. It's a it's uh, a weird feel. I agree. They're kind of smaller. I think they're only 36 millimeters, and so. They're kind of the weird one of all of the coins. <laughs> <laughs> they are. They are. But fortunately for them, at least if they're going to be weird, they're also typically one of the cheaper ones. So that's that's helpful. Also in that price range, if you can get your hands on them, Silver Krugerrand. I want to say that was the last coin that I sold that had a premium that started with a four. Wow. Nothing in the shop is doing that right now. But uh, that guy bought everything we had. Uh, which tends to happen when you've got the best price on something. You'll get cleaned out, and then you go, well, let's see what replaces this. When it comes in, what does it cost next time? And so what will we sell it for next time? Um, but I I like those. I think it's fun that they're descendants of the granddaddy of modern bullion. You know, they're just fun. Um, but they're also typically a really nice price coin. Uh, Britannias are the last ones that I would kind of throw into that budget category, uh, budget friendly category. Um, it is typically priced very similar to those. And then there's kind of a space and then you get into things like the maples and then, uh, you know, of, of the common stuff right now, the, the American Eagle, uh, is, you know, easily the most recognizable silver coin, probably the most preferred uh, by folks who are, you know, just looking for solid investing and they want what they have to reflect that solidity. To many people, that means eagles. But to many people, that also means super high premiums these days. And uh, it, it's funny because it's not that they're, you know, when you when the, the dealers buy them directly from the U.S. Mint, that they're that much more expensive than they used to be 10 years ago. What did we decide? It was 40 cents? Uh, how, how much their, the premium is. Yeah. Like when, when I was with Atmax years ago, we bought them two bucks over. Yeah. It right now it's like uh, 240, uh, 235 over. Uh, oh, wow. Okay. Even more than nickel. Yeah. <laughs> but still, you know, even we have a retail price of about 17 bucks, but I'll tell you what, it's not like, you know, we've got $10 in them and we're selling them for 17. I mean, really, our margins are, are the same as they are on other products. You'd be shocked if you knew how little we were actually making with a premium that high. And one thing that people may not know is, you know, what's baked into the premium is also what we paid for it. So it's not like, look at those guys over there trying to make $17 on each and every eagle. That's a crime. You folks ought to be arrested for charging that much for that coin. Well, there's a lot more going on there than spot plus premium equals, well, that's our profit in the in the premium. Not even close. Not even close. Yeah. But, All right. Let me ask you this. So when it comes mm -hmm. to uh, purchasing silver online, I know some people, they prefer to pay uh, at a local coin shop because they walk in with cash and they walk out with their bullion, mm -hmm. is there any risks uh, associated with buying silver from an online dealer? Depends on the dealer. You know, I, I can only speak for my business, um, but I can tell you um, if there are problems, we are faster to resolve them than than anybody else on the planet. And when I say that, I'm, I'm talking about um, either loss because the package never showed up or damage where you receive part of your stuff or none of your stuff, but Hey, here's the box, you know, sorry about your luck. We have really good internal processes 
where we're going to make things right for the customer as quickly as we can. And uh, we'll sort it out later with our insurance company or the carrier. You know, we don't want to hold people up because, of course, loss and damage is one of the worst experiences you can have when you're when you're purchasing uh, metals uh, online. And so we we recognize that and really try to resolve those issues as quickly as possible. We'll send people a declaration of loss, which just means if this ever shows up, I won't just keep it. I'll give Bullion Max the opportunity to either pick it up from me or what has happened more often than not is people buy it when it shows up. Um, that's about it. We usually don't require a police report and police don't want to fill one out if it's less than $1,000 anyway, and many orders are. So, you know, a lot of where other companies tend to get held up in, the, you know, just making sure that you suffered the loss tracking information is all I need. If it, if the carrier says the package never showed up, it never showed up. Got it. Cool. Let's reship. Fill out this form for me and let's get you taken care of. Other than that, you know, if you're paying by, by uh, credit card or PayPal, you've got extra recourse. If there is a problem, however, it costs more to do that. Um, we still get a lot of orders where people send personal checks. I would say... Really, uh, uh, the difference is walking in with cash, walking out with stuff. That's that's always going to be a better experience because that that gratification you just got it. You got your stuff. Or same with selling. You walk in with your stuff. You walk out with cash. Can't beat that either. But not everybody has access to that. And but I think it's great that you mentioned it because. Um, it's fun to go in there. It's fun to shop. It's fun to, to, to look at it. And you know, you do look with your hands. You don't just look with your eyes. You look with your hands and you, and, and you hold it up close to you and you go, wow, I've never seen one of these before. So we can't really offer that. Um, but, um, we, we try to be the next best thing by making it as easy as possible to purchase, We've got six payment methods that people can use. We even accept crypto. Um, but uh, ACH is probably the, the favorite payment method because you're paying with your bank account, but you're not having to mail us um, a check. And uh, those typically, those payments typically clear in three business days. And then uh, we ship on the fourth. Yeah, that's my favorite way to pay. Uh, whenever I buy stuff online, the ACH, it's so easy. And... Uh... Yeah, I, I've never been worried about any any problems with that. And so every time I've mm -hmm. used it, it's been a great experience. But, you know, you mentioned uh, being able to go into a coin shop and hold the coins. Yeah, you have to wait a little bit longer to actually hold them when you buy them mm -hmm. online. But it's kind of fun, too, because you get a package in the mail. It's like a surprise. Oh, yeah. You're opening a present, kind of. And so I, I enjoy both experiences. <laughs> Yeah, and you, you can have both, you know, if it's one of those things where you finally get to see one in person, you like it, but you're not going to pay those prices for it. Okay, then when you do get the one that you ordered online, that's that's cheaper. I like that little bit of joy that, that comes with shopping like that, just because uh, now you got yours, you know, you've been thinking about it, you've been dreaming about it, and, and today's the day because the package showed up. Well, so. there was something else you mentioned. Not everyone has a local coin shop near them. Um, mm -hmm. I am blessed to have like 10 of them within a you know, 30 minute drive. And so I've got mm -hmm. lots of options. Some people, they have one coin shop and it's three hours away and the yeah. guy's charging 50 bucks an ounce, you know? So yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, you gotta eat. Um, I'm also blessed. I've got, I've got just like a few blocks from my house. I've got three right down the same street. And so uh, a few a few years ago when I was doing my buying and, and trading, um, one guy was an ounce is an ounce. I don't care what it is. I'm, I'm paying you market rate. All right. So maybe I use that guy for, for my bars and, and rounds. And then another guy loves coins, but he doesn't like bars and rounds. He'll pay you a premium over spot for your coins, but he'll pay well under for bars and rounds. Okay, well, I just never brought that guy my bars and rounds. He was my coin guy. Then I had another guy who would pay pretty fair prices, uh, but he could only buy a little bit at a time 
like I can take on about 20 ounces. Otherwise you get, you know, more than that. I'm happy to buy it from you, but I'll pay you X, which is usually under market. So needless to say, that guy never got more than a handful of stuff from me because I'll just wait and talk to the other guys if uh, if I know they're going to pay me more. But yeah, it's great to have those options. And, and if you don't, that that's why we're here. Exactly. And, and one thing, too, that I would like to point out, uh, if you go into a local coin shop, you know, they're only going to have what they have. I mean, maybe they can order something, but then mm -hmm. you're waiting, you know, an extra two weeks or a month or who knows. Uh, but typically online, there's a larger selection to choose from. Um, mm -hmm. and so that's another benefit, I think, uh, shopping somewhere like Bullion Max. Yeah. And, you know, we don't go too far beyond the, the usual and customary stuff. You know, we're still kind of young. I don't think that we're at the point where we're carrying everything we will carry. Um, I, I I would like to see us go a little deeper on the on the lunar uh, calendar stuff with uh, with Perth. That is such a great line. Plus those um, from my time at Atmax, I, I was just amazed by how much those coins appreciated in such a short amount of time. And I think it's the I think it's the limited run of 300,000 of any given coin. Um, but also there's great interest in that. So I, I recall there was one one year once we had sold through the one ounce of whatever it was. I think it was Year of the Dog uh, a few years ago. And um, I want to say we were already buying back those coins um, for more than people paid for them, like within a month. That was crazy. Um, but like anything else, that was not sustainable. It went up and down. But if there ever was anything that was like predictably collectible, you know, this is this is going to very quickly appreciate in value. It's that it's the Perth Mint Lunar Series. All right. Well, uh, hey, Sean, I got to say uh, thanks once again for mm -hmm. uh, joining me in the video and we'll have to do it again in the future. Sounds good.